before we do anything else, it's really important to make a copy of the folder that we're going to reduce in size. It's crucial that we do that to make sure we've got our images secure. So I'm just going to go and right click over the top of my folder. Then I'm going to go into the place that I'm going to put it and then right click again into the place and then use paste. Once it's there in the folder, then it's ready for us to use within Photoshop. Before we use the automate function in Photoshop, I need to try and get rid of some of the extra files that are in the folders, the non-JPEG files. So I'm going to be looking for PSD files and PDF files, and I'm just going to use the search function in Windows to try and find them. So I'm using star.psd and star.pdf and then once I've found them I'm going to select them and then just delete them out of the folder. Once it's identified the um, files, say in this instance the PSDs, you select one of the files and then we're going to go up to file and do select all. Once we've got select all then we can go and use the delete key on the keyboard and just delete them out of the folder and that means that hopefully we've now just got JPEG files left inside there. Before you start the automated batch option off in Photoshop we need to try and set an action so I'm just going to open a file up and once it's open I need to select the um, Actions window. So I'm just going to the Window option in the drop-down menus and making sure that Actions is ticked just to make sure it's active. And once it's up on the screen I'm then go to the top right-hand corner, click there and I'm going to choose New Action. My dialog box comes up and in this case I'm just going to type in there 30% resize. And once that's done, we press the record button and uh, down the bottom of there a small little right light comes on and indicating that everything is active. I'm now going to the image size from the drop down menus. I'm going to make sure constraint proportions is on and then select percentage and select 30% and then OK. So we've set the image size and we've now just got to end the action by doing save. We can change what sort of quality we want on there and then once we're happy OK. We've now got to stop the action and press the square button next to the record light. We now need to set the automated action to start. So I'm going to File, then I'm dropping down to Automate, and then into Batch. But before we just do that, I'm just going to quickly show you scripts and image processor. Um, this is what some people would use to resize. But it actually puts extra folders inside the other folders, and I don't use that because it's just a bit confusing and the more hard work. So I'm using Automate, this brings up my Actions dialog window. I'm going to make sure that I've got my Subfolders option clicked. And then I'm going to choose the folder that I'm going to resize, make sure I've got that one with all its subfolders. Then choose the action. In this instance, I'm going to do Resize 40%. Um, and once that's selected, you just choose the OK um, button and the um, function will then just start off. Um, if it's a large folder, it can take up to sort of one or two hours. Um, and you can occasionally get images in there that won't actually save because they aren't JPEG files. But if it's all JPEG files, then um, it should just trundle through on its own and you could just leave it to it. Um, one of the things that I have noticed is that if you get a big folder, um, it can take sort of two or three minutes before Photoshop does anything. Um, and it looks almost as though like Photoshop's crashed. 
Um, this isn't the case. It's just that Photoshop's looking to see what's actually in the files and in the subfolders to see um, what it has to do. And once it's recognized all of the subfolders and the files inside there, it starts off and completes the job for you, um, which can take quite some time if the folders are quite large. Um, but it means that you don't have to worry about having to delete any of the um, folders created if you were using the script and image processor options. It just creates a smaller version of the folder um, and you've only got the one folder to worry about and you don't have to worry about taking anything out from inside the folder.